we doing? So, by the way, my name is Jonathan Stamata. I am a student of Don Mariana Memorial State University, a Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English student, and I'm going to be doing um, painting critic or what we call artwork critiquing. Of this artwork is called The Harass of Forces. It was created in 1999 and finished on the same year. This was painted by one of the original owners of our house. The painter's name is not available. And the artist painted this at the same location of our house. I have seen this information at the back of, our pa of the painting. I think I don't need to show it anymore because, you know, for confidentiality and privacy. This artist, as we have seen right here, the painting, use acrylics, oil-based paint, and lastly, the canvas. Before we proceed, ladies and gentlemen, to our next topic, I will um, give you some um, trivia about the painting, the title of the painting, rather. So, what do we mean by harass, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, harass is harass, or it is not called harass. Harass differs from the word harass. Harass means it is a collective noun. What is collective noun? Collective noun is called a group. And harass means it is the group or team of horses. It was just like that, as simple as that. The team or group of horses. Now, for our next topic, which is descriptions to what I observed, what I see, what I have learned from this painting. But before that, let's take a, let's take a moment again to this painting. You in the original photo, as what I've shown in the painting, there are horses running, right? A two brown horses and a white one. There are also the calm clouds right here. Uh, the hills, the mountains, and the bodies of water. Since we moved here, ladies and gentlemen, this is a trivia. It was still hanging on its original place. The current owner said not to relocate the painting. This appears to be a daytime scene painted from an eye-level position. Gentlemen, we may now proceed to the elements exist in this painting or masterpiece. Now, what are the elements? It is the line, the color, the shape, the light, and forms of this painting. The artist has used warm color palette of brown, beiges, grays, the blacks, and the whites. And also, he added cool tones like the blues and hint of purples. You know, guys, what we are seeing are there are a variety of line thickness and direction in the brush, strokes, color, and the movement is created by the splashes of waters and brush strokes used. And ladies and gentlemen, it is also the waving hairs of horses creates a sense of motion, right? That artwork is calm, which is we, we have seen the clouds, excitement, also success, the perseverance, the endurance, and the fast and speed. Good. The colors of this artwork create a sense of calm. At the same time, this made me think of beliefs of Asians like us, Southeast Asians, like symbolizing a progress and development in life, in the family, a calm condition life, and also an unproblematic life. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, as you may have seen, the shape and build of horses used also odd healthiness and piece of this artwork reminding of past lives of humans that coexist with the life of animals. This is an artwork that, that has, you know, has successfully used the elements that I have mentioned earlier, the principles of art to create a painting that shows the emotion and life through expressive brush strokes. Let's all remember that brush strokes are important and the subject matters evokes a calm feeling while the colors successfully use contrast to create calm representation of horses' life. This artwork is good, and it represents life, it used a good media, and it depicts creativity and a um, wide, wide and vast imagination. And I believe the artist did a good job for this kind of artwork. Let's give him a clap. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to my commentary about th this artwork right here. If you have any comments and other knowledge and ideas, you can... Um, share it to us by commenting down below and please like my video and that's all. Thank you ladies and gentlemen. That's all. I will end this. Goodbye